wiring and connectors and break those connectors. Those two don't look, uh, I guarantee you they're better than the ones I got. I guess they're not aluminum. I was thinking they were aluminum. That's an actual copper one. Uh, these other ones are just some sort of light, really light, thin steel. Boy, those old wires are old. Those are the ones that got the heat when that thing went out. They do need to be cut off back about an inch worth cut off of them. And will they still reach? Yeah, there's plenty of extra wire if I have to unwind. So I think, and there's no, I used to, when I was a kid, I didn't ever have a way to get any brand new connectors like this. I used to spend hours unwinding them and trying to use them again. And most of the time it was a failure. Sometimes, or you get them on there and then they'd just fall right back off. Right when you least expect it. And I think that's going to be a quarter inch from the look of those screws. They may be the bigger one. I'll get both of them out here. Put this in my... I don't have any more room in my tool pocket. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to take the heating element thing off. And uh, I'm thinking, do I want to move my camera back where I had it, where I have more uh, bigger view? I think I do. Yeah, I'm starting to feel that hunger. So I'm going to get that off. And I am not going to put it back together. Uh, it's just too far gone to do anything like that. Oh, and I got greasy hands. Well, they're not too bad. Okay. So, let's raise it back up. If I raise it up high enough, I can see more. I don't know if I... I must have removed the bottom one some, too. This tripod is really for a light. An old, fairly old-fashioned light. But it is... As long, long as you don't get too heavy of a camera, it's pretty good. Okay, I'll do it like that. And then we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Can you? Oh, that light there bugs me. Um, I don't want to snap the... I was thinking about snapping the things down, but no. Oh, it's a lot lighter without the drum. Yeah. I just, oh, almost snapped one down. Where are they? Oh, they're in the door. So you can put it on its tabs and... And... Uh, it won't be... You know, it, it won't be walking around and wobbling so much. I better watch out. That's... That chair's going to roll off the back there. Land on my noggin. Where are you? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, that light is blinding me. It's not really helping anymore. Okay. If it was quarter inch all along, I knew that. Those are all way bigger than what I got there. Let's put it in my pocket anyway. Okay. Bottom, and I'm doing this all. I'm not even surprised at myself. I'm doing this all without a drill or an impact. <laughs> it's really silly. I'll get that. I got a, a, a Dewalt old a Dewalt 18 volt drill, and the batteries wore out over the years. Didn't use it for several years, and then last well, last in the summer, they had uh, that's gonna fall on me. They had uh leave it loose and open it up where I can get a hold of it. Uh, they had them on sale and I got a, a, a driver, a, a DeWalt quarter inch empty driver and a 20 volt battery. I got the one that came with it and then I got two more big five milliamp hour batteries from China and a oh and an adapter to go in the 18 volt drill. So I'm all set up. I'm always wanting excuses to use it now. Well, going without for it's about three years or so sucked. Okay. So
Can you, you can't see down in there now. I shouldn't have moved it. Well, I needed to to get to that, show that area. Okay, now I'm gonna bring it back because that is the whole point of the video to try and show what you're doing. So, uh, I know it's terrible video moving things around like this, but that's really the only way I can do it. Okay. I mean, without spending hours. Edit. There, I'm going to do it like that. That looks like you can see pretty good. I could go down and ain't get straighter on, but then it just ends up making you move it over and over and over. Okay. Get uh, this one all the way out, I guess. I think it's going to drop. This one is really not holding it. I don't know. I don't know what's holding it anymore. Okay. Let's go up on this side and try to get that out. Yeah, I didn't think the other one was holding anything. See, I can do stuff left-handed. <laughs> I used to be really, I used to be really good at doing stuff left-handed. I'm not. I could write left-handed just as well as right-handed, and I could still do it, but not good anymore. I can't do anything good anymore. <laughs> so I guess that's why. <clears throat> okay, so there it is, and there's my bearing rig up thing i think all my sensors are good that one well that one beeped it i don't is it four wires on it and the one i bought's two so i don't think i'll look at it later and get the camera on it next time i i'm gonna have to quit and eat here real soon oh but uh yeah next time i work i'm not even gonna finish taking that out or anything i'm starving now so uh with this, these sensors, oh, th that, that one sensor, I believe that is the high, high limit thermostat. Uh, it's like rubber or something. Oh, it's grease. Uh, it's, uh, Oh yeah, I'm taking them off because I don't want they're like to get broken. I was fixing to say I'm going to leave them on there so I'll know where they go, but that's not really going to be a problem. Knowing where they go, they can't they can't go any other place. And these things come out pretty easy, but ah uh, yeah, with it flopping around everywhere, maybe I better take them out so I don't lose them, break them. They're ceramic. That could be handy to have uh, even if I get. Uh, the new one's all assembled, so you shouldn't need them. But, but I might change my mind. I might buy one that needs some assembly, you know. I guess I'm basically out of the picture here. There we go. I guess be there we go more more helpful more careful if you're making a video at least try to show what you're doing somehow now that thing is the one I was not having lots of luck getting off there that is and that one I do you can see the part number so I have it all found and everything they're 34 bucks but I don't think none, none of that's bad Let's see, the, uh, I think those, uh, trying to see if my, oh, here we go. Oh, now I can get to that, but I just got to get the right size. I if it was a quarter inch or what? Yeah, it's that one. Could be the one under it. Nope, that's it. Exactly. 
Oh, but before I do that, I want to see if that uh, heating element connector comes off. Where's my hammer? <clears throat> and if you can't get them with just a needle nose, you can use uh, vice grips. That's loud. Scripts it may be. I don't want to break my ceramic. You know what? That could be on there way too tight to do that. I think I need my um, let me go get my uh, magnifying glass because I really can't see it. I don't know what situ what situation really is. And I'll get my baby vice grips. Uh oh, I don't know if I can reach. Yeah, I can make it. Well, that's an <gasps> shit. That was too far. Son of a bitch. I've never dropped that camera like that ever. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, hope the video's not working right now. Oh. Dad, go. It's still recording. Don't think it actually broke it. Are you broke? Are you dead, dead, really injured? It looks okay. Yeah, you, know, you know, when you flip that door, it turns it off, but it flipped the opposite way and it didn't turn it off. Well, it shows to be working. Sure is crooked on the tripod now, though. I don't know if it bent the tripod or what. I think it bent the tripod. Oh, it just moved it on. The way I have it on here is Southern Engineered. That's what I'll say. Okay. Uh, I guess that's pretty good. I think that that is squeezed on there, crooked on there really, really tight. I don't think they're meant to come in. The light down there is kind of just shining in my face. It's not, I, I didn't think it could possibly be, if it couldn't be soldered because it would uh, melt, I don't even think you could raise something like that. No, it's just pretty thick. Yeah, it's just pretty thick and seriously crimped. I think you'd destroy that ceramic trying to get it, knock it off of there. So, uh, Gonna leave that. Well, I guess I'll just leave the whole thing on there because I'll probably end up, uh, you know, buying the whole unit, and there, I won't need this. But if I do need it, then uh, then I'll work. We're about getting it off. Well, actually, let's just cut it, get it off. It's not of no use like it is on there, and and if I go throwing this thing around, I know I'm gonna end up breaking the ceramic thing or, or breaking these or something that's why i wanted it off so uh where's my i didn't need my baby vice scripts where's my i don't know if they'll reach in there to cut it we'll see yeah cut the heating element that's no good and get this out of here I always like, even if I don't ever use, don't use this, it, you never know when you might really want to have something like that that you could use for something else. Uh, I save myself, uh, I've always been like that, save stuff like that. And you can save yourself trips to the 
store or things that just can't you can't be every you know you can find almost everything now but years ago for the whole internet everything available on the internet there were so many things that you could never find they were available somewhere well I, you know i learned when i was young i was, had a job doing maintenance on car washes and gas stations and you always went to the supply houses to get that stuff and all these things that you don't find in the home improvement center you know and all that and uh, i knew where to get lots of stuff but still over the years there was a lot of things those are kind of cool <laughs> a lot of things that uh i think i'll just put them in the box of take my jumper wires out of there in a little bit and... there we go twist it get it out and then you can get it out of there there we go now we got a system going Cool. I'm still not sure if that, uh, I'd have to get down there and, but that's nothing, it's got four connectors, just this one here, this uh, thermistor, it's only got two connectors, and I'm not so sure it is ever the right part for down there, anyway, that's where I thought, I, that's where it goes, that's what it is, that's where it goes, it goes in the air blower. But it may be for a newer model or something. Uh, it shows up on the website where I bought it. I went back to where I bought it. And shows up to be for a white Westinghouse. So I don't know. But I may have actually bought the wrong thing. Messed up somehow. I think I'm just going to put those together for right now. Get rid of the pointy ends so now i've got two heating elements that are absolutely probably useless for anything but uh i'll then bounce around here until i'm done with the job i'm not going to use them for this i know but just until i see if i want to play i don't think i'll be wanting to play with them either but i might you know all right now this is all dirty again with grease that grease has come from the uh, running down the back of that <laughs> from me gr sticking a grease gun in there. Well, the way it ended up, it, my hole was covered. I had a half inch hole in there that I drilled when I was, I had to, I stuck a drill bit in there to help line that thing up. I had to figure out a way to line it up. Anyway, it's, uh, uh, but I, I ended up having it covered up with the bracket and, uh, I just had a, a sliver to get grease in there, so I'd get it on my thumb and then just shove it in there like you like grease in a wheel bearing. And, uh, not sure where I want to put this. I guess I'm going to shove all the parts back in it for now. Leave this to where I can see it. Because it's not going to do... Let's put it behind it, I guess. Yeah, there's no room to leave this stuff out, so. Yeah, yeah I'll put the drum back in there. And, well, I can't believe that. We, the, I just moved that chair an inch, and it rolled right over my microphone cable. Okay. These. Keep getting them away. Oh, there's some more parts. What I was trying to do, let's get these electrical gloves off. I think I'm probably done. I'm really using them not for electrical. They're not electrical gloves. They're just Elsa. I didn't want to get all that grease all over me. So uh, I think I'll put the parts back in it that... You know, the drum and stuff. I'm just going to set them in there. And uh, I better go put this somewhere where it doesn't. Uh, I don't turn it over and lose it. That's not really the best place, but. Yeah. Drum. 
it's uh I may need to put that belt around it to set it, help me set it in there. Let, we'll see. Okay, but yeah, it's too heavy to lift and show the rest of it now. I'll show it when I do all the work on it. There we go. That'll oh, come out of there. Now, so that's why I wear gloves because that's all real short. But, uh, yeah, I guess I didn't realize they could do that. You know, it was when I, it was heating up. It could be that it, uh, it was heating up uh, when it was, the time was on the timer. If you, you know, you still had time on the timer, say it was right in here, it doesn't matter, wherever you open the door and shut the door, it, it quits blow, it turns off. But the heating element, it randomly was just coming on and then the high, high overheat thermostat was shutting it off, that was obvious. And I heard it do it like three times in a row the, the day I came out here to start working on it. And then I tried to do it again, and it wouldn't do it. And then I remember, you know, I've seen it do that before. And, uh, and uh, so what I'm thinking is, is that the moment? Well, I didn't smell anything like it was, uh, you know, that was the moment it broke. I think it was already broke because I think it broke the day that it, there, well, the day I worked on it was the day that it quit. It, that morning sometime. It it didn't. Uh, so they were trying to dry clothes, and uh, it wasn't heating at all. It was heating, but not. It would take two. It used to dry clothes in 50 minutes to a big, super big load, an hour and 20 minutes. You know, it goes up to. It'll go up to 120 minutes. That's two hours. Uh, but you never had. Uh, usually. Over the last several years, you had to go, it, it was not heating as much as it used to. But it was crazy, it'd go both ways. You'd have to dry longer, but there was this period of a couple of years, a year or more, where it was overheating and burning the, cl the clothes. Was, they were burning, they were smelling burnt. And if you'd go grab them, turn it on, open the door, grab them, they'd burn the living crap out of you. Then it just suddenly got really cool. And uh, it stayed that way for the last three to six months. I don't even remember. And, of course, kept thinking, well, i got to do something about it. Um, and then the other day, it, about three days ago, it just quit heating altogether. So the email went, I'm sure it broke three, about three days ago. Now, the door. I guess I'm going to have to put a couple of screws on it. can't think of any other way to handle the door but to do that and uh, yeah that way it's I've got the garage so full of stuff you can't leave stuff apart in here there's no room to just walk through the garage I'm putting it on that one. Yeah, the other clip I was wondering about, they're still on the door. That's what they do. They go on the door. So I might want to put that one in that top one in that fell off. Yeah, well, let's not do that right now. I don't think it's needed. There. Now, if I lift this up and shut the door on it, it'll be kind of back together. Did I miss? Oh, oh yeah. How do you get that to line up? That's hard. The air thing, the setting the drum on the air thing, generally make the the blower makes it drop down some, and then it won't shut properly down there. No, it didn't move. I just hadn't got it in there. Okay. 